When it comes to art, things like paintbrushes, clay, and pencils come to mind, but what about sticks, feathers, and woven cotton rope? Our next guest uses things she gathers to create unique art and even shares her passion by teaching others, and you have a chance to see some of her creations tonight at her art show as she takes us on what she calls a journey to the heart. Please welcome Megan Bic Tasevich. Yes. Did I do that? Okay, Megan. Yes. Megan, first, I mean, I just have to tell you, this is stunning, this work behind you. Thank you. Absolutely stunning. How long did that take for you to create? Uh, it took about four months, um, on and off, not consecutively. <laughs> I mean, I look at that and I see, I see an angel. I am just, it's, it's abstract, it's beautiful. I am, haven't seen macrame very often, but there was an owl that hung in our house when I was growing up as a child that oh, I have yeah. never forgotten. So it's, it's, it's kind of an art that, I mean, we just don't see very often. What yeah. were you, how were you drawn to that? Well, um, I just was looking for uh, some sort of creative outlet to um, kind of handle some things that happened in 2019. And uh, it's actually a very meditative practice for me. Um, once you learn the, uh, the ropes, um, <laughs> no pun intended. No, just Once you learn the ropes, um, it actually becomes a very meditative practice. That's kind of what inspired me to start offering workshops and sharing that with other people. But I just, I learned uh, off of YouTube, actually. I watched a video one day and uh, it just kind of came naturally. So I just kept going and then kind of started designing my own. And we're, sh we're showing, so this would be a class where you're teaching people yes. how to do this. Uh -huh, yeah, and I have different levels too. Um, I have um, a lot of level ones and mm -hmm. I am offering my first level two um, in November this year. I'm gonna assume level one means for those of us who've never, yes, never no tried it. Necessary none. At all. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's smiling in these photos. It's really fun. It, once you get the hang of it, yeah. So can you show us a little Absolutely. demonstration of yeah. how you would do that? So um, I wanted to share with you guys uh, a square knot, which mm -hmm. it's, it's one knot, but it can be used to make multiple different designs. Mm -hmm. um, this is just kind of alternating between the sides, and this is to go one side. So I'll demonstrate that. So square knot, you use four, four ropes. Okay. And what I, how I usually teach this is to create a four. <laughs> Take this string back behind and through. Pull that through, and then just tighten it up. And we'll do the same thing, and now we do a P, take the string behind and through, and tighten it up. And, and there you, just, you have a little square knot, it makes a little square. And you just <laughs> keep going. Yeah. That is outstanding. So what are some of the things, other than works of art, that you make? I mean, we're looking uh -huh. right here is one great example of a, a planter. Yeah, I make uh, plant hangers. Um, you could also make baskets. Mm -hmm. um, my uh, next project this winter is going to be to start making hammocks, <laughs> if you've ever seen the, oh, yes. the woven hammocks. I imagine that would take some time, though, so I'm going to wait till it gets cold and there's nothing else to do. <laughs> but how worthwhile once you would actually get to that point where from beginning to completion. And then your show tonight, Journey to the Heart. Yes. What will people experience? Well, uh, that's at Letter Song Calligraphy mm -hmm. Studio from 6 to 9. And um, I'm going to have live music by a dear friend of mine, uh, John Dr. Nicole Atkins. Okay. And uh, we'll also, I also have a few generous sponsors who are going to give away um, five different gifts. So um, I'm encouraging people to just show, show up, even if they can't linger, just stop by and sign up for those awesome gifts. <laughs> and I also want to mention, I mean, you are a person of many talents. I mean, not only are you clearly an artist, but you also teach yoga. Yes, uh-huh, yes. Uh, the first Saturday of every month, I teach a free park yoga at uh, Charlie Vetner Park in J-Town. Okay. Yeah, and then I also offer um, donation-based classes throughout Louisville. And you also do this. Yes, paddleboard yoga. <laughs> Paddle, I, I did this on Great Day Live one time um, and almost bit it on live TV. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, but yeah. it's so much fun. It is, and it's just a little switch up to your uh, regular yoga practice, taking the, the practice to a new terrain. <laughs> a new terrain <laughs> and a whole new level, yeah. which is what you've shown us here. Thank you so much, Thank Megan. You. you can see Megan's creations for yourself tonight at 6 at Letter Song, which is at 1501 Story Avenue. To find out more about her beautiful macrame workshops and yoga classes, go to treerootsyoga.com.